for every spider lost in this great big world, there is a warm place with friendly room service, delicious food, and a warm place to stay the night. This is Spider Bed and Breakfast. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Spider Bed and Breakfast with some jumping spider content. Woohoo! So, this is a Phidippus Odyx, which is a pretty common jumping spider where I live. And like a lot of you requested on Facebook, you wanted to see some jumping spider content, and so I was really excited to find one of these. So this is a male Phidippus Odyx, you can tell by its black coloration, and you'll be able to see some green on it later on. But I fed him, like we do at Spider Bed and Breakfast, and just kind of watched him hunt, and it was just really cool. These are beautiful, really intelligent spiders. And so it was really fun to watch it hunt and to just watch how curious it was for such a small animal. There's the feeding and it was, it was really cool. And I got some really good close-up shots of the spider after it had taken it down. Sorry about the weird focusing problems, but once I get it, you'll be able to see the green that these spiders are known for on their fangs. And yeah, you'll see the really big, beautiful eyes that these guys have. Jumping spiders are actually the whole reason I got into arachnids in the first place because I study psychology and so I was fascinated to know that there was such a small animal that was so intelligent. You can see its beautiful fangs and its eyes there and it looks at the camera and it was really hard to see this one go. But like spider and bread and breakfast we always do, we fed it, gave it a place to stay and then let it go the next day. You're so jumpy. Oh, there he is. No. There he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. Do you have a video of feeding him? Uh huh. There you go, baby. Oh, Bye. Bye, baby. So yeah, that's episode 2 of Spider Bed and Breakfast, but this time we actually have something really special for you guys. A little bit of a surprise. The other day I found something that I knew a little bit about, but I took it inside to see what would happen with it, and a little bit later we had little baby praying mantises. So these are just common mantises that are native to Utah, but I took the egg sac inside, it had been really cold, and I just wanted to see if they would hatch, and they did. They're really, really cute, and they're really, really fun. I maimed a cricket and put it in there so they could eat it their first night after they hatched. And after that, I left them go in the wild. I've seen a couple of them since, but yeah, super fun. Be really interesting to see what you guys have to say about praying mantises and the spiders. So yeah, check us out on Facebook if you haven't already. Give us a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and have a great day, you guys.